Today I'm going to show you how to load the Google Earth map uh, to the Epanet as a backdrop. First, you need to have a Google Earth or Google Earth Pro installed in your computer. And let us do some couple of setting changes in the Google Earth. Uh, first, go to Tools, Option, and in the 3D view sections, you will see your show latitude and longitude. Set that to UTM. Universal Transfers Mercator and then go to the navigation and in the navigation section uh, set the navigation to do not automatically tilt while zooming and apply those settings after doing this uh, go to view and uncheck your sidebar and again go to view and uncheck your status bar and after this uh, go to the area on which you are going to do your design in your internet let us suppose uh, this is the area on which you are going to do your uh, design in the internet and now add a place mark uh, which you can do by clicking this yellow pin or you can go to add place mark the main reason for adding place mark is to get the coordinate of the center of your map and by default uh, the Google Earth places the that place mark at the center of adding the place mark note the coordinates of your uh, place mark that is the center of your map uh, copy the sting to is the sting of your center of map and the northing of the center of map after uh, adding the place mark and getting the coordinate of uh, your center of your map uh, you cannot zoom in or zoom out or pan your map if you do so then ha you have to repeat your uh, this step again then after this uh, go to tools and ruler then I'll say check if your map length is in meter or not if not then set it to meter and then using your mouse cursor click on the leftmost part of your map and try to make this line as straight as possible uh, by this we are going to take the distance between the leftmost part of your map to the rightmost part of your map and the map length is 789.58 uh, let's take the ground length 789.94 similarly uh, measure the height of your map try to make this as vertical as possible for better accuracy and the map height is 375.7 so till now what we have is the coordinate of the center of the map and the distance between the leftmost to the rightmost part of your map and the distance between the uh, topmost and bottommost part of your map now after this let us export this map and save this as image file which you can do it by uh, clicking the save image icon over here or you can do it by file save image and then save image After saving the map, uh, since we know that Orbanet does not uh, take the JPG file as a backdrop, so we need to change the format of uh, the file that we uh, image file that we saved. For that, open the image file uh, in a paint. And 
save this file as a save as VMP picture format. After this, now go to the Excel file where you have noted all your coordinates and length and height. Then uh, now we are going to calculate the coordinates of the upper right corner of your map and the lower left corner of your map. Uh, the sting of the upper right corner of your map will be the will be uh, the sting of your center of your map adding the half of the length of your map similarly the northing of the upper right will be the northing of the center coordinate plus half of the height of your map similarly for lower left for the lower left the sting will be the sting of the center minus half of the length and the northing of the lower left will be northing of the center minus half of your height Now you have the coordinates of the upper right corner of your map and the lower left corner of your map. Now in Ipanit, uh, let's add the, that map as a backdrop. View, backdrop, load. Select the image that you have converted to the BMP format and then open it. Now we can see that the image only lies in the certain part of your workspace so now at the moment the image is not scaled so now it's, we need to scale it uh, for that go to the view dimensions and here you can see two coordinates we have to set the coordinate of the lower left and the coordinate of the upper right and replace these numbers by that we calculated previously in our excel sheet and after this set the map unit to meters and then do ok now you can see uh, that the, your map completely fits exactly in the workspace of your department and this shows that uh, your map is almost scaled and to verify that add two nodes since we have already scaled this map let us turn on the auto length and add join two nodes by a pipe and check the length of the pipe uh, the length of the pipe here is 67.4 meters in the Google Earth uh, take a ruler and measure the length of the same section that you have taken in the Ipanet and here you can see the ground length is 67.24 meters so in the Ipanet uh, the length of that section was 67.4 and in the Google Earth uh, the length of the same uh, section was 67.24 so th since these numbers are almost uh, similar then we can say that our backdrop is scaled thank you everyone